Are you looking to create a beautiful color palette for your home? Are you confused about how you can combine different colors in a cohesive way? Well, today in this video, I go through everything from some basics of color theory to different types of color palettes that you can create, and then I walk you through step-by-step step how you're gonna create a wonderful, cohesive color palette for your home. Let's get started. So the first thing I wanna get out of the way, my first disclaimer before, so I don't have to waste time telling you throughout this video, is the importance of light on color. Light completely changes color. I cannot state that strongly enough. So a paint that works in my living room is not necessarily what's gonna work in my bathroom. It will appear very different. It'll appear completely different in your living room. It will always look different. So my advice to you on this is to always get samples of paint or fabric swatches or flooring samples or whatever you need to make sure that it's all gonna work together in the rest of the color palette. Get it in your home, see what it looks like in your lighting, because it will look different than it does on the shop. It'll look different than it does here in my apartment. Um, so that's my disclaimer is just always make sure you get samples because it will change everything that I talk about for the rest of this video. So let's get that out of the way. Okay, so let's do some basics of color theory. I promise it'll be interesting and I promise you're going to learn something from it and it will really, really, really help you create a beautiful color palette for your home. So this is the old color wheel, okay? We remember this from grade school. Okay, so first let's talk about color temperature. So there are cool colors and then there are warm colors on the color wheel, right? So the cool ones are blues and purples. Uh, greens and then on the warm side you've got your red your oranges and your yellows the cooler color tones typically create a really soothing or sophisticated atmosphere in your space uh, those can be really great for bedrooms because you know you're probably gonna be sleeping there uh, you great for bathrooms but those warmer spaces can be really energizing they can be great for offices or kids playrooms okay so now let's talk about something that I think really trips people up a lot which is tints tones and shades because I feel like a lot of you have probably heard these words but you don't necessarily like super understand what they mean and that's okay because we're going to talk about them right here so tint is just looking at all those different colors that exist on the outside of that color wheel and it's adding white to those different colors so if you take something like a color red and you add a lot of white to it it's going to change it and it's going to become pink Tones just mean that you take those colors or those hues that are on the outside of the color wheel and you add gray to them. So typically what happens when you add gray to some of these colors is they just become more desaturated. They just become um, less like their kind of primary really bold selves and they start to become just a little bit more toned down. That's probably where we got that from. So they look a lot more desaturated and tones are really important because these colors can look really beautiful in your space. They'll always have different undertones of the primary color, but by adding gray to that primary sort of pigment you're able to create something more desaturated and honestly in a living space it's going to probably look a lot better on your walls or your furniture than if you may were to use those really really bright colors right and the third one that I want to talk about is called shades and you've probably figured out what that one is and that is when you add black to these different colors so if you take a color like green and you start adding black to it um, it'll start to get a lot richer and a lot darker so that's tints tones and shades so when we're talking about the different color palettes we're gonna be talking about the different color schemes and combinations that you can go through but I really think it's crucial to understand that we don't just mean adding these primary colors together we're talking about all the tints tones and shades that exist within that color wheel so when you look at it from that perspective and you look at kind of those little slices of pie that exist all around the color wheel of all the different tints tones and shades you really sort of start to see that there's actually millions of colors that you have to choose from i feel like people sort of go like oh blue and orange okay that might work but there's actually thousands of different colors that exist within those two colors so that's really important to understand as we move on to creating a palette that's going to work for your place okay so now moving on to different color palettes so you have a few different options here there are other options, but I'm going to stick to the three primary ones. So the first one to talk about is monochromatic. Monochromatic just means taking one of those different slices of pie and just basically working with all the tints, tones, and shades that exist in that color. So if you want to create a monochromatic blue space, that would mean you're working with every different color that exists within this little slice of blue to be able to create for your space. Monochromatic schemes can be really beautiful, really purposeful, and let's look at some really great examples.
So the second type of color palette I want to talk about is called analogous, and that means that you're looking at two or three uh, different slices of the pie of the color wheel uh, that sit next to each other. So you know these ones work together because they sit next to each other on the color wheel. So for example, if you were wanting to design a red, orange, and yellow space, you'd be working with all the tints, tones, and shades that exist in that little three different sections of the color wheel. Again, this gives you loads of options to create a beautiful space. Let's look at some more examples. And then the third type of color scheme, which is in many ways probably one of my favorites, and that is a complementary color scheme. So this is working with, again, all the tints, tones, and shades that exist on two colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. So this is really great for a couple of reasons. I love this, first of all, because there's a certain contrast that comes with using a complementary color scheme that um, you just don't necessarily get as much from analogous or from a, a monochromatic scheme. So you're definitely getting a lot of contrast, which is kind of creating sort of visual appeal from these two colors that exist opposite each other. And the second reason is that it's a really great way to combine warm and cool colors on the color wheel. So that was a question I got a lot on my how to choose a neutral paint, is when we're trying to combine these other undertones, what people get confused is what if I have undertones of blue and I have undertones of orange, for example. Well, here's the good news. Blue and orange sit opposite each other on the color wheel. So if you're able to reinforce the different colors from these two different sections of the color wheel, you're going to create something really cool cohesive and really beautiful. And I'm going to go into more detail on that in a second. But first, let's look at some gorgeous examples of complementary color schemes. Okay, so we understand that there are different tints, tones, and shades within each color. We also understand that there's different ways that you can build a color palette that's going to work for you. Now that we've decided that, let's talk about the third way, which is how do you combine them in a really cohesive way? And the good news there is that there is a design principle called rhythm. All that rhythm really means is that when you start to repeat shapes and color and pattern and texture throughout a space, it makes them uh, look cohesive and work together. And color is one of the easiest ways for you to do this. So now that you've picked your color scheme and you understand how they're going to work together, then all you need to do is start to really repeat them, whether that means in really obvious ways like a blue throw and a blue pillow and a blue vase, or it could be in undertones that you're using. So you might use a white paint on the wall with a blue undertone that ties in well with maybe a blue rug or a blue pillow or maybe a couch that is gray but has slight blue undertones. And you can start to kind of see how you can pull these things together by repeating colors over and over in the space. And it's that consistency, it's those different patterns that you see over and over in a space that visually pulls the space together and makes every little thing sort of feel like it belongs there. Okay, so now practically let's go through like a real world example of how I can do this for you so you can see how I would do it and maybe you can learn about what would work for you. So one of the first things I would do, a great resource that I think is an awesome color wheel is on the website Canva. I'll link it down in the description. But what Canva's done is they've got, and there's a few that are out there, I just kind of like this tool, um, is that you're able to use the three different types of color schemes that we talked about. So then what you can do is you can pick a color on the color wheel and you can start to see which ones are opposite, which ones are complementary. It'll also give you different examples in a monochromatic or an analogous color scheme that are going to work really well for your space. And this is like an awesome jumping off point for you to be able to start to pull in different things when you're shopping or when you're pulling in samples to see what's going to work for your space. You can take those different color families, all those different tints, tones, and shades, combine them together into something really cohesive and really beautiful. So guys, if you want to learn even more about color and more about paint, um, I have a playlist that I'm going to link right here that I just created, and it's got all my paint and color videos, and I plan on adding more. So feel free to check that one out. You can learn about neutrals. You can learn about you know white paint specifically. I go into a lot of depth there. Um, so feel free to check that out, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks. Bye.